back to the Dice Towers coverage of Origins 2016. I am here once again with Jeff from Gorilla Games, and you are going to show me the worst game ever. Well, unfortunately, last year I released the worst game ever, and there was a great hue and a cry about it because uh, it's the worst game ever. So I decided to make up for it by releasing the best expansion ever, which makes it the best game ever. I totally understand. So the idea in the worst game ever is it's really a bunch of cards that are make fun of games, gamers and gaming, and things that you hate and poke fun of it. So it's, the idea is not to make a card that replicates that, but really makes fun and makes it in a fun way. So you don't want to make a boring card and have everybody be bored. Um, so in the, the best expansion ever, what we do is there's 50 new cards, and unfortunately, these don't have art, but the ones that are off actually at press right now okay. do have art. Okay. Um, so but these are just prototypes? Yes, okay. but uh, it's uh, completely uh, replayable, uh, completely playable. As long as you have a die and some chips, you can play this as a standalone game. Oh, okay. So, or, or you can shuffle it into the worst game ever. And also, uh, you could edit your worst game ever deck and say, you know what, I'm going to leave out this card because this really is a lousy card. And that's kind of what I did on the reprint of worst game ever. So you'll have stuff like uh, uh, people who... Let's see. Let's see. Uh, tiny, one of the cards is tiny text. So uh, I hate it in a game when there's tiny text on a card. So uh -huh. this card says that you remove any card in play as long as there are more than four lines of text on the card. So in the game, you're going to be attacking people and taking their tokens. And the game ends as soon as somebody's eliminated. And then whoever has the most tokens wins. And then all these cards mess with that and change it around. So that there could be, uh, uh, for instance, you play a, a, a drafting mechanic where you reveal a number of cards and then everybody takes a card. Some uh -huh. people hate drafting. Or you've got uh, uh, Groniard, let's see, what is it? Play when a player mentions a game published in the previous millennium, and then that player must pay a token to each player younger than them. <laughs> so, it's, so there's still a lot of that meta type of players being played type of stuff in there. That's, that's, that's what it's all about, is, uh, is just the kind of fun that you get from uh, one of these goofy games. So if anybody takes it seriously or plays for money, then they're wrong. <laughs> oh, we're not supposed to be playing this for money? <laughs> no. They lied to me. Uh, so so how many cards are in the best expansion ever? I, I believe it's 50 cards. It might be 55. Okay, but just in that range. Yes, and I, I got I got some uh, sponsors from some various uh, publishers, really good-natured people. Uh, it's amazing the games industry when you say to them, hey, I want to make your game the worst game ever card. And they say, you know, they don't say no lawsuit. They say... Oh, okay. You, you need a logo? <laughs> so, it's, it's really, I think, Stronghold Games, uh, Breaking Games, uh, let's see, Mirrorbox, uh, Baxi Games. So, they're all in on the humor, and yes. they all get the joke. Yes. That, yes. that yes. is excellent. That, for a game like this, that just amplifies the fun level of it when they're in on it. Yeah. Cool. So, you said that this is at, at press right now. It is at press right now, and okay. it has, it's all arted up, and it's sweet. Okay. What's the... Uh, What's the distribution timeline then for it? It's scheduled to come out in September, but Excellent. I might have some at Origin, at uh, Gen Con. Excellent, in August. So. Yes. Cool, well, we'll see. If you did, that would be like the best thing ever. It would be, it would be. I was looking here for a card, a special card to show you. Some of the cards have different backs, like there's a mismatched back, but I can't find it, obviously. So this might be, oh, there we go. Oh, oh it's, it looks like a printing error. Yes, but. That's part of the part of the things. One of the things you hate in games is when you get a printing error. Well, there you go. There's your printing error, and then that card is mismatched expansion cards. <laughs> and so, that's fantastic that you took the time to actually put that kind of thing in there. It's 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 full of little little Easter eggs like but, that. And we in in the original game, I probably should. have, In the original game, we managed to get a reviewer card in there. <laughs> one of my one of my one of my least favorite reviewers ever, and one of my favorite reviewers ever. I won't say who is who. We'll just leave it at that. No, I'm actually joking. I like them both. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, with that lie, we'll end here. Uh, <laughs> so this is the expansion to the worst game ever. The, the is it the best the expansion? best expansion ever. The best expansion ever coming out in September. And uh, so you can keep an eye out for that. In the meantime, stay tuned to the Dice Tower for more coverage of Origins 2016.